In this video, we're going to be taking a look at another example in which we're going to be using the squeeze theorem to find a limit. And the limit we're going to be finding is the limit as x tends to infinity. This is positive infinity of 1 over 2x plus e to the minus x. So before we do any computations, I'm just going to draw a quick a quick sketch here. So hopefully you remember that e to the x, e to the x is going to look, looks kind of like this, right? it increases exponentially after x equals 0 this is this is uh this is g of x equals e to the positive x but what about e to the negative x well that's the same thing as 1 over e to the x so when when um e to the positive x is going to be very close to zero, one over e to the x or e to the negative x is going to be very, very big, right? So, so it's going to be falling this way. Uh, this, imagine this. Imagine this were like a a curve here instead of a bunch of squiggles. But as e to the x increases exponentially, one over one over each of these y values is going to be something very close to zero so this is this is f of x equals e to the negative x and that's the same thing as one over e to the x so hopefully you can see that the limit as x approaches infinity of of uh, e to the negative x is equal to zero. So in general, in general, it looks like e to the negative x ranges between positive zero and positive infinity, but when looking only at positive values of x, it seems to range between zero and one. And if we include x equals zero, we have a uh, it ranges between 0 and 1 inclusive so for positive x values including x equals 0 e to the we'll say e to the minus x it's between 0 and 1 including both of these numbers right or no I should say pardon me e to the minus x is between 0 and 1 excluding 0 but including 1 so e when x is 0 e to the minus x is 1, but as x approaches infinity, e to the minus x approaches 0, but it, it's never really equal to 0. The problem we're concerned with here, the limit, the limit we're concerned with here is the limit as x approaches positive infinity, so we're really only concerned with positive values of x. So we can say that we are concerned with with this with these with uh, these values of e to the minus x here so if e to the minus x ranges between 0 and positive 1 excluding 0 and including positive 1 then we can say 2x plus e to the minus x going to be ranging between 1 plus 2x. We're just adding 2x to every portion of this 
compound inequality here. So 0 plus 2x is 2x, right? And as with all problems in which we're going to be finding limits using the squeeze theorem, we want to make this function look like the function that we're going to be ultimately taking the limit of. So if this is true, and we want to find, we want to find the reciprocal of this to make it look like that. Well, then 1 over 2x plus e to the negative x. Well, that's going to be greater than or equal to. Remember, when, when, we, when we take the reciprocal of everything, these signs, the directions of the inequality signs change. So this will be, this will become 1 over 1 plus 2x, but the function we're interested in will be greater than or equal to that, and this will become 1 over 2x, but uh, again, the direction of the inequality will change. So now we look at these limits of the outer functions as x approaches infinity. So the limit as x approaches infinity of 1 over 2x, well as x gets bigger and bigger and bigger, 2x gets bigger and bigger, but 1 over 2x is going to get closer and closer to 0, right? But then what about this limit? The limit as x approaches infinity of 1 over 1 plus 2x. So as x gets bigger and bigger, 2x is going to get bigger and bigger, but just twice as fast. We add 1 to that. We're just adding 1 to a very big number. When we take the reciprocal of that, we're, we're going to be getting a number very close to 0. So this limit is also 0. So because the limits of the functions as x approaches infinity that the function we're ultimately interested in, the, the limits of the functions that the function we're interested in is sandwiched between or squeezed between are 0, then the limit as x approaches infinity of the function we're interested in must also be 0. by the squeeze theorem by the squeeze theorem and that does it for this video